Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. I found a bit of rot under our winch. I'm just gonna use that as my template. I cut this out yesterday. There's another thick fiberglass layer there and there was a timber core. So I'm gonna cut some fiberglass sheet. G10, some really expensive, heavy duty fiberglass sheet. And I'm gonna epoxy it up and then I'm going to tape it all in and just glass back over it and um, it will be 10 times stronger than what it was and if we do get any water ingress from the winch at any stage it's not going to affect it any longer because it'll be all epoxy. There'll be no core, it'll be a solid fiberglass core. It's a bit of overkill but it's a big winch and I just thought, you know, just make it a little bit stronger. That's the job, I'm going to cut that out. See how I go. I haven't cut this sheet before. I don't know, it's like half inch, so 12 millimeters. Put the mask on and see how we go. What are you doing now, baby? Oh, uh, you know. This is a neat little trick. If you, I don't know if you can talk and do two uh, things at once. It's, it's a bit hard to... <laughs> it's a bit of a higgly piggly cut out area. It's a higgly piggly. Higgly piggly. Scribe the edge of it and then I've got my template. You're very clever. You, do, you use this for a lot of things. Yeah, you can do that with gaskets or... Lots of stuff. But that's what he's going to do because he's going to cut this piece. Well, this is a template, so he's going to cut the piece outside to fit up here. So he wants it exact, and um, that's how he did it. He's very clever, my husband. And after he scribed it, he's just cut it out, and now he's just checking. I'm um, just, just want to try and get a little bit of a gap around it. Make it so it's not too tight. About three mil on either side, and I'll just fill that with epoxy. I'm just using this. This was the piece I cut out. So this is my template that I'm going to use to mark out on our new sheet. I'm going to put a bolt through here and a bolt through there and I'm going to epoxy it and then tighten it up and then I'm going to fiberglass all around the seam and tidy it all up. We'll be there. I'm itchy already. I haven't even started cutting. <laughs> Missing piece of the puzzle. Does it fit? Oh, look at that. Oh, I just need to trim that up a little bit. Little play around there, but that's roughly what we're gonna do. So, this stuff is half inch thick, solid G10. You can use this for packing. You can use this for backing plates. It's super, super strong. And in this case, it's a way overkill because this is, well, it was just a plywood. Um, the winches are going back on, so I want it super strong anyway, and I just don't see the point in having plywood again, where if water does get in, it's just going to rot again. So this will eliminate that. I'm just going to just give this a little rough up, and this, I'll probably tape this in, come around here, like underneath the ceiling, I don't have to be too fancy, I'm just after strength and watertight, and I think I should have that once that's all glued in. So we'll do up an epoxy glue and try and get it all squished in and glued into place. We've got another part in the locker up on the top. We can mount our winch back. We can go sailing. We haven't even been off the dock yet, guys. It's killing me. There's a lot going on at the boat. There's a lot of boat works going on. And so today I'm going to go and take my computer and go and work outside. come out to the park today and what's super awesome is something that we've just been given it's the EcoFlow River and what this allows me to do is to be able to work wherever I want we don't have to have power and the battery on my MacBook Pro I mean when you're editing it goes really quick so when I come out if I don't have anywhere to charge I can only be out for maybe an hour I'm lucky if it's an hour and a half so this beautiful little thing here, it allows me to plug my computer in, I can charge cameras, I can charge whatever I need when I'm out. So it's basically having a source of 
power wherever you are. So we can sit at the beach, we can go to little remote islands, we can go wherever we want and I can work remotely and charge all our gear so if we have the drone or anything else like that, it's so perfect. I'm going to go back to work but my computer's dying so I'm going to plug it in. So not only will I be able to continue editing, that's going to charge my computer, it's going to charge my GoPro batteries. Not only that, if you go out and your battery is flat, in case we are longer than what I think I'm going to be, or for some reason I haven't charged my EcoFlow River, it doesn't matter because if it's a sunny day, it comes with solar panel. Super simple setup, there's solar panels so that you can charge your battery at the same time. How good's that? It's that simple, you point the solar panels obviously towards the sun so that they're charging. I'm super soaked because I can't wait to wear out somewhere exploring really cool places and um, I can have this set up and edit and charge our phones and our drones and our cameras and everything. So come down here and we'll be able to see that it's actually charging. So that's without the solar. It's telling us now we've got three hours. I'll just plug back in the solar and now it will tell you what the input is and how many hours we've got. So as you can see, the top here is where the input of watts is coming in. So there's 33 watts going in and we're using 70, 70. All right guys, if you, this is something that you would be super psyched to have, then I'm gonna leave a link up in the corner and down in the description below and go check them out for yourself. All right, back to it. Lee is setting up to fiberglass. We've got our drop sheet down. This is the part that we're going to put in. Well, that's the area where we're about to fill. I know how messy this glass thing's going to be, so I didn't want to get any on the Corian top. I'm going to glue that up, plonk it up. Guys, so I've got G10 here. All right, so Captain Concrete's a little bit nervous because he's working with fiberglassing. <laughs> it's not the compound you're used to using, is it? We did a little bit. We've done some fiberglassing on Catalpa. But are you nervous? Oh, I can't even get that open. Oh, I'm nervous. You don't need to. I can get nervous. Let's have a crack. You look a little bit nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> Measure twice, pump <laughs> once. Oh. Right, he's got it all ready to go. This is what is great about Lee. He's got all his work all neat and tidy. Very organized. A few rags going on there. It's all ready to go. He's got his beautiful assistant over here. About up top once I've got my mix together. And that's our thickening agent. This is for our glue. We're gonna make a nice thick glue up. So thin enough that I can squeeze it out, but not too thick so that I can't get it all squeezed out. Stage one, we'll get this glued in today and glassed up tomorrow. I'm gonna to take this silica up top. Uh, have we got a spoon I can use for that or any sort of something I can spoon with? Get some heat going here. cooking in the bowl because of my little thickening bit that I wanted to push into because it's so thick it got hot and I cooked it I've even got slow cure but maybe I was mixing in too small of a bowl I'll let it sit in the hump I could feel the heat in it we all make mistakes babe that was a real timely mistake that one and costly Seems to be going a little bit smoother, not going to jinx us, but he's got it in now. It's fiberglassing, just putting the last bit of the epoxy in. It just goes to show that everybody makes mistakes. We're not perfect, we're all human and um, evenly. It's not real ecstatic about it, but it'll be fine. Lee has very high standards and he gets really bummed at himself when he stuffs up, so it doesn't happen very often, so that's why. 
but he's got up top to do. We have a very big tip now for fiberglassing and he already knew this, but sometimes you gotta do it a couple of times before you learn. Mix your batches in small lots. Hey babe. Look, I'm not, I thought we weren't in the tropics anymore, but it's been a really hot day. And I just made too much on that first mix and I just bummed because I had organized everything to go up under a lip and I filled up under there first and when I went to insert my piece under the lip it would already gone hard. I was like, should have known. But anyway, small amounts. Yeah, and you didn't end up wasting as much flat product surface. as you thought. I learned that in Asia, just really lay it out thin over a flat surface. As soon as it, see, it, it cooks so quick, especially in Asia, you got too much, but It's oh hot well. here today, so. Can always make more. It's not Asia hot, but. It's not Asia hot, but it's, it's hot. Warm. It's been, the weather has been absolutely beautiful here in California. Yeah. The last um, few days though, it's been quite hot. Yeah. Yeah. Last three days, so. Yeah. So it's a good time to fiberglass. It's going to do the last little bit and then tomorrow uh, we'll lace a mat and um, finish it all up. But it should be, it should be fine. Lee just likes to go extra. He's extra which we love about him. Well, we replaced it with G10 board, but... It was just a little bit of timber in there before, wood, so... <laughs> it's uh, way overkill still, but... I'm just, just getting ready if we get sponsored by some big electric winches, you know, like... Who knows? They're, who ready, knows? To, they're ready to take anything then. But, yes, it's about 6.30. And got one more mix, two more mixes to do, and then they're going to call it a day. All right, mix master Bella, let's go. It's beautiful, honey. Uh -huh. had breakfast and we've got our table taken up with fiberglass work so I'm waiting for uh, the cleanup crew to come through and get the kitchen ready where I've got a glass so I thought I'd just trace out one of these. You just sit there and wait for the kitchen to be clean. <laughs> so what I've done, obviously it's very messy working with silicons and sealants and all that. With these hatches that I'm doing, it's just easier to leave the paper on and when I go to silicon these, I can wipe all the excess silicon off. Oh, a little bit rough down there, pushing hard. I'm just doing enough just to just to cut the paper. So what I'll do is I'll apply my silicon down here, and then I can wipe it off against the frame, which is there. So that's just a little template I've done, so it should be roughly. Oh, it's not lined up yet, guys, but it'll be roughly something like that. I'll mask up in here too, and then when I go to wipe the excess off, I can wipe it all clean, and then I can just peel that back. And you can see that's where the silicon will sit. It just makes life easy. Less ticky-tacky mess. That's that. It was just a little quick fill-in job while uh, the kitchen gets cleaned and everyone gets motivated and to get into some fiberglassing. You know what, I think like this, throw it. I think we stuff that up. Got one more piece, I might just try and do oh, How am I going to do this? Another day, another disaster. <laughs> There's a lot of learning going on. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to have to... I'm going to leave these two at it, but I'm sure they will come up with a solution very soon. So he's finished, even though he stuffed up. I think he did a bloody amazing job, guys. What do you reckon? He's pretty awesome. 
And uh, so is Bella, because Bella helped a lot for that. Well done, team. Well done, Bella. Thanks, everybody, for watching that episode. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time when we finish off the hatches.